Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have a very bold lip today and bold eye. This is my 3-in-1 makeup tutorial on fall because whether you like it or not, fall's here. And we might as well start to be creative with our makeup now. <laughs> so anyways, um, I did a 3-in-1 look. I did a neutral eye with a bold lip. I did a bold eye with a neutral lip. And then I did a bold eye and a bold lip, which you see here. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to see how I achieved all three looks, this can be taken from day. You can wear the first one in the day. And then you can progress throughout the night. You can... You know, it's a multi-versatile look. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you when it's done. So first I'm going to prime my eye with Max Painterly Paint Pot. It's just a flesh tone color. You can prime your eye with anything you want to. You can even, um, you don't really even have to prime your eye. The only reason that I like to do this step is because I have a lot of veins that I don't want to show up through my makeup. Now with the BH Party Girl palette, I'm going to pick up this right here, the champagne color on just a flat shader brush and I'm going to put that all over the lid and if you press your brush into your eyelid you get more pigmentation Then I'm going to pick up this golden color right, this is so hard to do, right here. And I'm going to just press that over it. A little bit more. And then I'm just going to pick up this white shade in the palette right here and just run that on the brow bone which is going to give you a nice little subtle highlight and I'm going to take my blending brush and blend that out and then I'm going to take this color right here I don't even know how to describe this color, but it's like the perfect blending out color. And I'm just going to put that in the crease, just to give the crease a little bit of um, definition. And then I'm going to take it in the inner corner and blend out the color on the lid. The purpose of a crease color is to... It's going to be almost the same color as your skin, so um, you're not going to be able to see it a bunch. So just defining that a little bit more. Now from here you can just throw on some nude lipstick and call it a day. Or, since this is a fall tutorial, I'm going to take, and this I'm going to use this in every time I do a bold lip for this tutorial. This is what I'll be using, and it is Sangria by Milani. With this color, you can build it up, or you can simply wear it sheer. Let me swatch that for you so you know what sheer is. You can wear it literally that sheer, or you can build this color up into a nice beautiful color so here it is this is look one all we did was take um, a white color and highlighted our brow bone we took a golden color golden champagne color and we did our lid and then with a blending brush that looks like this we just simply put a 
little bit darker color, flesh tone color in our crease just to darken that up a little bit. And then we did the bold lip, which is so fall. So I hope you guys enjoyed look number one. If you want to see how to turn this into a nighttime look and a little bit more bold, then just keep watching. And this is a look with a toned down, um, more nudish, pinky, nude lip. Yeah, this is toned down with a nude pink lip. And yeah, so if you're not wanting to be bold with the right lip, I got you. So now we're just going to dramatize this a little bit. Dramatize, is that a word? I don't know. Creme Brulee looks like this by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to take that color, <clears throat> take that color on a blending brush and go back into the crease with this color. This is just going to darken up that crease area. And you can even do this if you want for the simple look, but hence the word simple, I kept it very, very simple. So we're just working this color with our blending brush in the crease. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller blending brush. This is just going to put the product more precise where I want it. I'm going to go in with this purple shade right here. And I'm just going to pick that up on my brush. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to put that right in the crease of the eye, starting on the outer corner, working in. You really want to focus most of your product on your outer corner because that's where you want your most dramatic, like your dramatic color to be. And excuse me please, I'm still sick, which is no fun at all. So I'm just working that right into the crease, as you can see, just like so. And then I'm going to work it down a little bit. And really what you're doing is you're, you place your product where you want it and then you just blend it. I'm going to go in whoa, with Makeup Geek's Bitten and place that right on the outer corner, focusing that on the outer corner of your eye. You can use any colors that look like this. You do not have to use these easy, easy, easy. <laughs> You can use any colors that look like this. You do not have to use these exact colors. Um, I just wanted to show you the ones I've been loving already for fall and they're pretty affordable. So that's always a plus. So now I'm blending this in now that we have it where we want it. Again, you can pick up your fluffy brush and blend. I like to start out here. That way your product isn't blending in this way unless you want it to. Um, wherever you place your brush and drag is where your product is going to go, if that makes sense. So now I'm going to focus it out here and drag it inward like so. So you should have something that looks like that. Whatever's remaining on this brush, I'm just going to place it on the outer corner again and until I really get my desired color I'm looking for. Now I'm going to pick up this copper color right here onto a flat shader brush and I'm going to place this color on the outer half of the eye, like so. So you should have something that looks like this. And I'm just working that until I have my desired color. More of that gold color that was in look one. And just blend that up like this on the inner corner. So you have something that looks like that. And then I'm just going to go in with a clean, fluffy brush and blend this all together. Like that. And then if you even want to dramaticize this more, you can pick up an even darker shade and do that. Um, 
I'll show you what that looks like. Just a little tiny bit on the outer corner and then blend that in. I absolutely love this color right here to do my inner corner highlights. It just seems to work the best for me. What an inner corner highlight is, is it just simply opens up the eye and gives you a more awake appearance. Then I'm going to take that copper color and put that right where the copper is on the top of the lash line. And then I'm going to take the Bitten color by Makeup Geek and then I'll work that from the out in. So I'm just going to place some on the outer corner and then I'm going to smoke it out. I know it looks really funny. Like that. And you want to connect it to your shadow you have on top so it doesn't look funny. For the lips, you can simply just leave it nude like this, or, or you can go dramatic like this. Lining my lips with this um, pinky color. So after that, I'm going to take Candy Yum Yum by MAC. Um, it's just a really bright neon pink color. I'm going to put this all over the lips. This step is completely optional. Now I'm going to take Sangria by Milani <laughs> and I'm going to just work this on the lips. Like this. Sangria looks fine on its own and it is totally a fall color. I just like to bump things up a little bit. I have lipstick on my teeth. My Milani Sugar Plum Liner. And I'm going to line my lips with it again. Very, very lightly because this color is darker than Sangria. If I have lipstick on my teeth, I apologize. So then I'm going to line the top. Again, lightly. And then do the same on the top with the ombre look. Pat them together. Like so. You can even use your finger. To dot it. And then I'm just going to take a little bit more sangria. And put that right in the middle. So this is look number three. So we had the neutral eye with a bold lip, we had a bold eye with a neutral lip, and now we have a bold eye and a bold lip. This is more for if you're going out at nighttime or something, or a special occasion, this would be great for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this three-in-one tutorial, and thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I appreciate it so, so much. I really try really hard on my channel to put up things that are of good quality, I guess. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah!